Hello salutations from teacher Emmanuel. You are the primary three pupils and the subject is ICT. You are welcome in grade three. The unit number one is the use of a telephone. In this unit we shall see telephone keypad, writing, sending, and receiving short messages on a telephone, saving a telephone number and making a call. We shall also see taking pictures and recording sounds using a telephone. Indeed, we shall see transactions on a mobile phone. In the end, end of unit assessment will be done. You are welcome. Look at the following pictures. Look at them attentively. Aha, uh -huh. thank you. What is the name of the telephone part which is in the red rectangles? Would you name the parts in red rectangle which are written in the following colors? Blue, white, and red? Thank you. The part of the telephone that is in red rectangle is a telephone keypad. The keypad has the following keys letter keys, numeric keys, and special keys. The lesson title today is Main Parts of a Telephone Keypad. We have already talked about them. Would you give examples of letter keys? Wow. In the letter keys we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Continue until you reach to Z. Can you also give examples of numeric keys? Alright. In numeric keys, we have one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Indeed, can you give examples of special keys that you can see on the telephone keypad? Correct. They will have dollar, art, star, or asterisk. Question mark, quotation mark, exclamation mark, brackets, slash, underscore, colon, semicolon, among the other. Remember that the lesson title today is Telephone Keypad. We have already seen the main parts of a telephone keypad. We have seen that they are letter keys, numeric keys, and special keys. Let's see one by one with its function and uses. Let's start with numeric keys. Look at the following pictures again. Look at them attentively. Avoid the distractors. Now, can you show where you can touch in order to use the numeric keys found on the keypad? Correct. How many numeric keys are on the keypad above? Yes. Which key is on the left of the numeric keys? And what is the use of the numeric keys on the keyboard above. I know you can give a lot of answers. 
To use the numeric keys of the keypad, you place on the button with one, two, three. That one you have seen above. The blue arrow is showing it. There are ten numeric keys on a, a telephone keypad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Numeric keys start with one on the left and end with zero on the right. The use of those keys is to write the following. Telephone numbers, amount of money, password, hour and minutes of time, and dates. Let's move on and talk about letter keys. Have a look at these pictures again. What do you do in order to use the letters on the telephone keypad? What is the number of letters keys which are on this telephone keypad? And what is the importance of letter keys that are on the telephone keypad above? Yes. When you want to use the letter keys on the telephone keypad, you place on the key with the letters A, B, C. The telephone keypad has 26 letter keys. These letter keys are used to write words. Very nice. Now, let's talk about the importance of special keys that are on the telephone keypad. Observe the following telephone keypad again. Would you explain the importance of the keys in the red rectangle? Correct. The keys in the red rectangle are called special keys. Here you can see the importance of keys on the telephone keypad. The first one here you are seeing in green color is yes key or key key. It is used to start calling after typing the contact or the telephone number of a person. You place the key to start calling. When you want to buy airtime, you place the key. The next one in red is used to stop calling. It is used to hang up. When you are talking to someone and if you want to stop talking, you place the key. When you want to shut down your telephone, you also press and hold the key until the telephone shuts down. The next keys are exclamation mark, question mark, brackets, colon, and semicolons. Those are the punctuations used in writing messages. They help a person to read the message with ease. The others are equals to slash, less than, dash, positive sign, asterisk, or star, percent. The keys are used to do calculations. Next, we have asterisk, or star, and hash. The keys are used to check airtime balance and to load airtime. Use the keys when you want to buy airtime. 
The next key is space. Space is used to put space between words. The next one is this key with the arrow looking to the left. This one is used to delete what you have written. It is the back space. The next one is enter. It is used to go down on the, th the next line when you are writing a message. The next one is the key with letters A, B, C. You click on it when you want to go to the letter keys of the telephone keypad. Lastly, we have the key with, re with numbers 1, 2, 3. This is correct when you are going to the numeric keys of the telephone keypad. Thank you very much. You have reached it to the end of the video. After each lesson, there are questions you have to answer. That's why I welcome you in the session of questions. Question number one. What do you think is the meaning of a telephone? Number two. What are the three main parts on the telephone keypad? Question number three A. Give five examples of letter keys. Question number three B. Give five examples of numeric keys. Question number three C. Give five examples of special keys. The keys you can see on the telephone keypad. Question number four. Explain five things you can type using numeric keys. Question number five. What are letter keys used for? Question number six A. How many numeric keys do we have from the telephone keypad? Question number six B. How many letter keys? Do we see from the keypad? Question number seven. Draw a mobile phone and name the external parts. Question number eight. Talk about the uses of the following keys.